Hey everybody, Manga Man Chris here, and it is the end of April, which means it is time to go over all the cool manga stuff that I got this month. Um, got, I uh, did some counting, I got one less volume than I got last month, so 34 instead of 35. Um, and there's, there's some pretty big orders coming in soon, so it's gonna keep going, but you know, I'm, I'm making money so I can pay for it, basically. But, besides the point. This is a anime and manga haul, because I also got some anime this month. So um, I'm gonna start with the anime, which you can't see it, but it's right right here. Uh, and let's just get started. So let's start with the D, yeah, let's do this first. Okay, so first off, we've got Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, uh, season one on Blu-ray, nice. I've started watching this. It is very good, very, very good. If you like Ghost in the Shell, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Then we've got the second season, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex Second Gig, also on Blu-ray. Now, next two, same series, but um, I got these two in a lot with this next one, and um, me just sort of buying it, not necessarily paying attention, I didn't realize that it was A, um, a the 3D version and B not in English because I wasn't paying attention to labeling. Uh, that's my fault. But we've got uh, Ghost in the Shell Solid State Society 3D on Blu-ray. Now this is a uh, second of my Blu-ray player. It is English uh, subtitles with Japanese audio or uh, Cantonese subtitles and all. Basically, the only English is subtitles. Basically. But it is, it is a 3D version, 3D rendering of the next one, which is the same thing, but on DVD and in English, because uh, I uh, like dubs. But uh, yeah, Ghost in the Shell, Solid State Society, and this one, a bit of a plus, comes in a steelbook. Um, it is an older steelbook, uh, but I got, I got all these uh, on eBay. Um, but it, this one is particularly cool. It's got the movie, uh, the soundtrack and the extras, which is pretty awesome because I was not expecting it to come with the soundtrack. Uh, and it's Yoko Kano. So I see this as an absolute win because Yoko Kano is amazing and I love her. Next up, we've got Golden Boy on DVD. Now this is a series that I saw uh, mainly just on YouTube videos. This is, this is an OVA series, there's only six episodes. Uh, pretty short. I watched it in one night. It was like two hours. Um, very funny. It's from uh, 1995, so it's got a bit of a, uh, a dated animation style, and it is on, on DVD, so the resolution is DVD resolution. You know, it's, it's not Blu-ray. It's not that great, great. But it is very funny. Very. It's, uh, it's LVA. It's edgy. It's a little bit um, raunchy. Um, not for everyone. Um, what's the rating? Oh, unrated. <laughs> but uh, yeah, very, very funny. Um, if you guys want to check it out, I'm pretty sure it's it's pretty cheap on Amazon. I got this for like, I think it was, I think it got on sale for like 12 bucks. So if you guys want to check it out, you can check it out, Golden Boy. There is a manga, but it's, it's the only English is, it is scanlations, basically. And um, basically just more more of this. The, the, also, the main reason I wanted to get is it's it's got the art style is actually really really nice. I really like the sort of the '90s art style it has. I I don't know why, but I just really really like that art style. And next up, this will relate to something else later in the haul. But we've got Azumanga Daioh the animation. I started watching this as well. Very funny, just sort of, sort of short episodic little episodes. Uh, very funny. Um, also on DVD. Um, but yeah, very very nice. Uh, if you guys want a, a nice slice of life uh, anime, Azumanga Daioh is pretty, pretty good. So, that's the anime out of the way. Moving on to the manga. I'm going to start with this stack, because this stack is all new stuff. To me, at least. There is one stack that could technically be in this stack, but it, it's new. So, first off, you guys can probably see it. We've got uh, Volume 1 of Sakamoto Days. I wa uh, watched. I read this. Uh, pretty much as soon as I got it. Very funny. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I really like the art style. I wish Sakamoto's wife got more panel time, because she's 
honestly my favorite character. I really, really like her. But definitely check this out if you guys have a chance. It is very, very good. Highly recommend. Um, best way I could describe it. Mm, imagine way the house husband meets uh, Hitman 3, sort of. Yeah, so really, really cool. Really, really liked it. The art style is really nice. And uh, yeah, check it out. Next up, we've got a series from a manga code that I actually really, really like, but uh, this is the only work of theirs I own in English, or own at all, really. That is Call of the Night. We've got volume one here, and volume two. There are, I believe, seven out right now, but this is from the same mangaka as um, the, uh, oh, what's their name? Uh, Kodoyama, that's the only name on here. Yeah, Kodoyama. They're the same mangaka as uh, Dagashikashi, which is one of my favorite sort of slice of life uh, anime. Very, very good. Uh, I really like the setting. Like, I remember I was doing like a writing project and I was basically, when I was imagining the the sort of setting and scenarios wise that they were in, it was basically the same sort of setting as that, as that show. I really, really liked it. I really, really, really enjoyed it. But this is the same uh, manga here. And uh, this is also getting an anime. Um, check out uh, the the opening is is sick. I, it's by a band called uh, Crazy Nuts. Super cool, super cool if you like anime openings. But yeah, Call the Night Volume One and Two. And uh, before I move on to the uh, these this next little stack of three here, uh, Volume Two of Call of the Night and these next three came from uh, Robert's Anime Corner Store. Um, this is a pretty awesome website. Um, every order you get these little these little postcards and stuff with the little uh, mascots from the website on them in different styles. This one is um, ok Okinawan sort of deal, but yeah, super super cool website. Um, I've I've looked there a couple times. This is the first time I've bought something there, but they usually have quite a few things that are that are out of stock uh, other places. Um, but yeah, super cool store. Um, I've I've seen more and more people buying from 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 them. Really, uh, and you know, they're a small business. I want to support a small business as much as I can. But yeah, uh, Robert's Anime Corner Store. Uh, that's the uh, the website. So yeah, go check it out if you're uh, looking for some things. They have a ton of stuff on there. They've got anime. They've got a whole bunch of stuff. Whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, uh, go go check them out. So these next deck of three, same series. It's only a three volume series. That is uh, Anali and Dualia. There's volume one. Volume two, this is a sick cover. I gotta say, it's probably my favorite cover. And volume three, which is quite a bit thicker than the rest of them. This is from uh, Yen Press. It's only three volumes. It is the uh, the same mangaka as uh, Witch Hat Atelier, Altelier, however you pronounce that. Same, same person who made that. Uh, three volumes. I know uh, nothing really about this series. I flipped through it, and, the, and it seems like a sort of slice of life comedy. I don't, I don't really know though. Um, don't really know anything about it. But I, I, I remember pe people talking about it, and I was like, I, I need something to to fill out an order. And uh, well, yeah, this order. But yeah, I need something for the order. And I remember people talking about this and saying it was good, so I ordered it. I know literally nothing about it, so I can't really give you guys my thoughts. If you guys like Witch Hat Atelier, might want to give this one a shot. Same same author. So, next up, we've got Volume Four of Defeating Dungeons with a Skill Board, or is it? Yeah, with a Skill Board. This this title is such a late novel title, but yeah, uh, I I really like this series. Uh, it's probably my my favorite sort of like RPG fantasy sort of series. It's the only one I've I've continued reading. I've read a bunch, but this is the only one I've I've really stuck with. Um, volume four was really good. More world building, which, which was really nice. A lot of more uh, exploration into the main character's powers. And uh, yeah, really, really good. I recommend you guys read this one. Next up is a volume that took uh, a really long time to, to come out uh, relative to the rest of them. And that is Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, volume 10. Um, this time with a, a snow theme, looks like on the cover. I have not read this one yet, um, but you know, this one, this one kept getting pushed back. Um, I think at one point it said it was coming out in August, then it sort of came back and it came out this month. 
But um, yeah, excited to read this. I really like Nagatoro. Uh, I think it's a really good series. Uh, have not watched the anime yet, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the manga because I'm just far further ahead in that. But yeah, don't totally think miss Nagatoro Volume Ten. Next up, we've got Kaiju Number Eight Volume Two. Uh, super excited to read this one. I really like the first volume. Um, excited for the rest of the series. I, I, I've seen a couple other people get gotten Volume Three. Of course, that's other localizations, so you know different localizations come out at different times but yeah very excited to continue reading this I really like the uh, the first volume and it left off in a cliffhanger so I am looking to see that cliffhanger resolved or expanded upon in this volume next up we've got uh, some more of Yotsuba we've got volume three volume four and volume five now volume five um, I, I uh, my fault I, I looked to buy it after I read volumes uh, three and four here. I have not read volume five yet. Um, looked, wasn't on Amazon, wasn't uh, on Right Stuff. So I, I went to Thrift Books, got it for a little bit more. I think it was like 13, 14, no, it was, it was like $17. And I was like, oh, it's not available anywhere else. And I really, really want volume five. So I got it there. And then I, uh, I was looking on Barnes and Noble, making my, my pre-order list for next month, and I saw they had it in stock. And this was like the day after I placed the order. So yeah, uh, note to self, I need to look a little little harder before I, I uh, spend over retail on book. But yeah, um, volume five, have not read this. This is quite a bit thicker than the rest of the volumes. Like uh, here's volume uh, four, which is usually as thick as the rest. And that's quite a difference. Um, it's probably like two or three extra chapters in there. But yeah, very excited to continue Yotsuba. It's probably one of my favorite uh, series I'm reading right now. It's got 15 volumes, so I'm, I'm a third of the way there. I don't know when volume 16 comes out. Um, volume 15 took a while to come out. It was on hiatus for a while. So I don't know if it's back on hiatus. I haven't, I haven't read anything that says it is, but who knows. Three. Next up, we've got Comey Can't Communicate, volume 18. Have not read this one yet, but it's more Comey, so it just, it means it's going to be some more Comey cuteness. Uh, I saw the season two of the anime is going to be coming out soon. So cool if you like the anime. I haven't really checked it out more than a couple episodes. Um, but very excited to read this. Yeah, Comey Kick Me 8, volume 18. And here we've got one of the pre-orders I was waiting with the most anticipation to arrive. And that is Spy Family, volume 7. Very excited to get into this. Um, I haven't checked the anime out yet. It's only got like two, I think three episodes out right now, but I, I will eventually. But very excited to read this. This series is one of my favorite Shonen Jump series that's releasing right now. I, I, I love it. I love all the characters. I love all the whole the whole vibe of it. Um, but yeah, volume seven. I haven't read it yet. I've been busy with school stuff. Finals next week. I haven't really had time to read much of anything. I've like, I've got a uh, paper and two tests left and yeah. And next up, we've got Chainsaw Man volume 10. Uh, I've said this enough times, but I, I'm still on volume six. I'm not going to read any more Chainsaw Man until it's done. That way I can just bang it all out at one time and avoid spoilers. I've been pretty good at avoiding any, any, avoiding any spoilers. I've had it a couple times where it's like, oh, come on. But like, by the time I, by the time I get to reading it, I'll probably forget it. So Chainsaw Man volume 10. And I, I really like this cover. It's very punchy. Red is very punchy color. And, uh. Yeah, the back cover is pretty cool too. I like the green. Now, coming up to second to last of uh, pre-orders and such, we've got uh, pre-orders and sort of continuations of existing series I have. We've got uh, My Senpai is Annoying, Volume 7. I really, really like the series. I watched all the anime already. I can't really remember. I think it goes past where the manga is right now, at least in English. But very excited to read this. This is one of my favorite sort of Slice of Life Office comedy series. Uh, very cute. Full color. That's a, that's a plus. It's in full color. Not very mom, not very much manga is in full color. I, I've got Saison and Comic Girl and this. That's pretty much all I have that's in color. But um, yeah, very excited to read this and uh, I highly recommend it. And last up on the pre-orders and continuations, we've got a volume that took ages to actually be released. That is, uh, The Great Jaya Will Not Be Defeated, Volume 2. 
This is from Square Enix. Um, very excited to read this. I really like the first volume. I haven't watched any of the anime. Um, but yeah, this volume took forever to come out, so I might have to actually reread the first volume just to remember where we're at. But uh, yeah, volume two. Like the covers. Covers are still really cool. Square Enix again. And the uh, the art is... Uh, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, there we go. Art's really cool. That's sort of a random page. Really like the art style. I have this same manga's other work. Um, the maid I hired recently is Mysterious. Another very long title. But it's the same mangaka, same really cool art style. That one is in like almost like it's in selective color. Basically the, the maid has purple eyes and every panel she shows up her eyes are purple and that's the sort of the only color that's in it. But besides the point, this is this is out now, finally. I'm gonna read it soon. I I recommend it. I liked it. If uh, the anime strikes more your fancy, watch the anime because um, again, manga's only got two volumes that are officially out. Now Moving to this big stack. This stack is all completed series. And as you can tell, they're old, because very much yellow. Um, these are older series, um, out of print series, um, completed series. Uh, earlier on my Instagram, I said, I think it also in, the, in the, one of the last videos, I said I, I wanted to uh, get collecting more uh, older sort of out of print series from like the mid or 90s basically um basically before i was i was alive um and uh well some of these are from the 90s but some i just i want more old manga man i just want more old manga because it's, it's cool and it's nice to have in the collection gives the gives some it gives my collection some sort of collector's value at least at least to me because I know every, everyone's collection has value to them but I, I really wanted to get into more old stuff and so to kick it off we've got a four volume series here uh called read or die now I saw this on Instagram so this is also an Instagram purchase here's volume one here's volume two here is volume three here is the last volume, volume four. And basically, the gist of this series, from what I've, I've heard, is the main character here, the main girl here, can, has the uh, ability to uh, manipulate paper and like do a whole bunch of weird stuff with it. Um, uh, that's literally all I know, um, but comes highly recommended. There is a sister series, I believe, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's like maybe Dream or Die. I don't know. But it's something or Die. Um, it is by um, uh, Hideyuki uh, Kurata. I'll, I'll just put that up there. For anyone who is interested, that's the manga. I can't pronounce either of their names. Um, but yeah, comes recommended. I'll, I'll check it out eventually. But uh, yeah, Read or Die, volumes one through four. Now this next stack um, is probably... These, these next two series are the ones I am probably the most excited to have. Um, um, you can already tell. It is Full Metal Panic. I've got all nine volumes of Full Metal Panic. This is a, an ADV manga. Uh, ADV has long since come out of business, been out of business. Um, so yeah, that, that makes it pretty fucking cool to have. Excuse my French. Um, but yeah. Awesome, very excited to have this. So we've got volume one here, volume two. Now this volume is quite a bit thicker than volume one. We've got volume three, volume four, volume five, volume six. <clears throat> Volume 7, Volume 8, and the last volume, Volume 9. Now, Full Metal Panic is, uh, it's a mecha series, uh, it's not really my favorite, I'm, I mean, Evangelion's pretty good, but once you get, like, halfway through, it's kind of hard to understand, and, uh, I kind of, I kind of watch anime not to be sad and confused, uh, well, except when it's uh, Violet Evergarden, but yeah, Ava just sort of, it's a bit much, and, um, Full Metal Panic is a lot more my speed, 
so yeah, my probably my favorite Mecha series. Um, it's got uh, three seasons and a spinoff season called Full Metal Panic Fumofu, uh, which is very funny, very very nice sort of slice of life. Uh, so if you guys are interested, the manga is nine volumes. There are some novels. I believe they're all the novels are in omnibus form now, hardcover omnibus. But um, yeah, the uh, the anime goes uh, Full Metal Panic. Uh, and then Fumofu, and then um, the next two seasons. But I think the uh, the last season, I think, is Final Victory or something. But yeah, the second season actually has the word second in it somewhere. So but the watch order is pretty pretty easy to understand. But um, yeah, Full Metal Panic. It's one of my, my favorite mecha anime. So I'm glad to have the, uh, the, uh, the manga. And Volume 9 was probably the hardest one to find. I found, I, I searched a whole lot of places, and I only found one. And then I bought it, and it was way over retail, which I'm not too proud to say, because I don't like buying over retail. Um, but, I mean, I, I wanted to complete the set, and I knew if I if I didn't snag it, then I um, probably wouldn't be able to find another one for a while. Um, but yeah, very, 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 very thankful to have a full set. Um, but yeah, Full Metal Panic, Volume 9. Not volume 1 through 9, not just Volume 9. <laughs> And the last bit of manga in this haul is, uh, as I, I said before, can, related to some of the anime, we've got volumes one through four of Azamanga Daio. We've got volume one here, volume two, volume three, and volume four. Now, um, if you, some of you saw my my uh, one of my recent Instagram stories. I finished this. And I got a little emotional. Um, this is a very good series. I really, really, really enjoyed this. This is the same mangaka as Yotsuba. If you guys can recognize the art style, same mangaka as Yotsuba. This is out in in a uh, one shot omnibus now. All four volumes are in an omnibus, so it's it's pretty uh, digestible. This is a four panel manga. Uh, uh, each uh, each uh, chap story chapter is in four uh, four panels going straight down the page. Pretty pretty easy to read, but um, I I really enjoyed this. And I, when I finished it, I uh, I I was a little emotional. Um, same way I was when I finished the the first part of Genshin, because it was just man, I I really really enjoyed this very 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 much so. Um, but I highly recommend you guys check it out or you know check out Yotsuba. This this. This manga's work is phenomenal. I love it. This is probably my uh, my favorite volume, volume three. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely check out Azamanga Daio if you guys get a chance. It is really, really good. I highly recommend it. Out of out of everything in this stack, I recommend this the most this month. Um, yeah, just chef's kiss. Really, really good. So that is everything for the month, guys. Um, bit busy uh, this month. This is. Uh, coming up on finals week for me i've got uh see the end of by the time this time this goes out uh we'll have like a couple days and then finals week kicks in um but uh besides that the next video that's going to be coming out is uh one that uh should have come out a little sooner that is my own fault because i kind of forgot but we we're coming up on We've come up and passed the uh the two-year mark two-year anniversary of uh me of like uh, collecting manga as uh, as a hobby as as it is now and um so i'm gonna do a little uh, collection tour for you guys for you guys who are new or for you guys who want to check out what i what i've got because uh uh I've, I've got uh at least 200 200 volumes um i don't have a lot of room to have one of these huge collections um that is that is a goal eventually like ever since i was little my uh my dream house would have a library in it and I, I still maintain that that's on the list <laughs> for when I uh, that, that's on that's on the list to get uh is a room that can be used as a library or like an office or just just a room to chill and read um but uh collection tour video is going to be the next one coming out um other than that uh I haven't planned that far ahead um but that is the next video that's gonna be coming out guys um if you guys have any questions for me or uh any any comments any anything any literally anything um leave it down in the comments i i read and respond to all the comments that i can all right 
So that is it, guys. I'm wrapping it up here. Um, if you guys, hope you guys like the video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.